All right, Colin, thank you. To our special report tonight, a former local teacher inventing a safety lock for school lockdowns after experiencing one herself. And this teacher now making her invention a full-time job with the goal of keeping students and teachers safe across the country. KTSM 9 News reporter Carla Draxler has this story. A simple invention. Each set comes with these three pieces plus a fourth. Making a difference between life and death. Crystal Salcido, a former English teacher, saw the danger teachers face during lockdowns herself. They have to open the door, expose themselves and potentially their students to an active threat in order to secure their door. In 2019, she was locked down in a classroom for several hours with her students in an El Paso school she taught at. Students telling her after they were scared. Then I had colleagues coming to me and telling me, oh, their they're lock didn't lock, the door handle malfunctioned. And many classroom doors across the borderland being outdated, only being able to lock from outside. And then close it which could give away their position, could let the intruder know that there are students or people in that particular classroom. There were teachers I knew that were coming up with their own things. They were tying cords around their doors, doing, trying to come up with chains, trying to do all of these things. But Salcido had already had an idea in mind even before the tragic Uvalde shooting in Texas. We want something that gives us something tangible in our hands to give the best shot that they're going to make it home to their parents. So she came up with her simple lock. Because I would simply put this in the corner. You can't really misplace it. And it slides in. And now we can't open it. The lock known as slon, meaning elephant, the animal known to protect their young, just like teachers protect their students. They weren't signing up to die for their students. That's not what we signed up for. Teachers now more than ever are carrying a heavy responsibility. There's 30 other people in that classroom who haven't started their lives yet that we desperately want to protect. After different phases of development. That this it was is kind of similar to the original prototype um, right here. Without an engineering degree. So if I take like a piece of paper and I measure it and I put it against the door. Her lock has now been placed in every classroom at Anthony ISD. Now all of our teachers lock their doors during instructional time. So the door jam kind of became an added layer of support to have the doors closed. All this placed after the tragic Uvalde shooting. We just try to add the tools necessary to be able to keep them safe. Salcido coming from a long line of teachers, including her mom. Every time she'd come home and she'd tell a story, she would say, my kids. And I would be like, where are your kids? And then I became a teacher and I'd come home and I'd tell stories about my kids. And so we're always talking about our kids as though they're ours because for those eight hours, they are ours. Lockdown situation is over. Then all you do is simply remove it. This melts at about a thousand degrees stainless steel, about a thousand degrees hotter than fire. And so there's no issues with melting and being stuck. Her ultimate goal to secure all teachers and students across the country. My kids being any kid. Really, whether they're in my class, whether they're in my school, whether they're in another state, every student, and I think this goes for most teachers, if not all, are my kids. Carla Draxler, KTSM 9 News.